So what is the best keyword research tool? Hi everyone, my name is Greg and I'm a full-time niche website owner. Every day I get thousands of visitors to my websites and I rely on keyword tools to make money and basically feed my family. So as you can imagine, keyword tools are very, very important to me. So today I've picked out the very best keyword tools for you that I want to share with you in this video. So please hit the like button just below for the YouTube algorithm and let's get into it. The first keyword tool that I want to share with you is 100% free and that keyword tool is called Keyword Sheeta. So keywordsheeta.com is the domain. Once you jump over to this website, let's work through a couple of scenarios together. Keyword Sheeta of course works in any niche. So regardless of what kind of website you've got, you can use Keyword Sheeta. But today for the purposes of the example, let's say you are running a gardening website or perhaps a website that's related to growing tomatoes. Keyword Sheeta can help you generate tons of very targeted long tail keywords really, really quickly and 100% free. So how would I personally go about this? If I wanted to find more keywords related to growing tomatoes, I would just type in how to tomatoes and this tool will now pull up everything for me that's got how to and tomatoes in its database. So I'm just gonna click sheet keywords over here. And as you can see, it is now starting to spit out tons of keywords very quickly. We're almost up to 100 in just a few seconds. So I'm just going to stop this because it will continue doing this and it'll produce thousands and thousands of keywords. But just so that you understand how this tool actually works and how it finds all of these keywords, it uses the Google auto suggest feature, but it does it for you automatically. You may already know that you can use Google keyword suggestions tool yourself by typing in how to, for example, like this, how to grow tomatoes. And then it will give you all of these different suggestions from seed in pots at home, etc. But this tool does it for you automatically. You don't actually have to do this manually. It also does various advanced things. So for example, it will do this. So how to, and then underscore tomatoes. So see how now we're getting all the this basically acts like a wild card and we're getting all of these other things how to grow tomatoes how to can tomatoes how to freeze tomatoes so then it will it will go through this list it'll say for example how to freeze tomatoes and then it will start adding all these things onto the end so it does that in between all of the words that you give to the tool so it's very powerful it does it for you automatically and very very quickly it's amazing for generating Tons of keywords, 100% free. And they're long tail keywords, they're very powerful keywords, they're real keywords that people put into Google. Okay, so I've got this long list of everything that's got to do with how to tomatoes. Now, of course, if you've got a gardening website, you can just repeat the process for uh, various other terms such as how to cucumbers, how to capsicums, to get literally thousands of keywords, you can go absolutely crazy here with Keyword Sheeta. But now the next critical bit of information that we need is how many searches does each of these terms get, right? Because we can't get it from Keyword Sheeta. The second completely free tool that I recommend for this purpose is Google Keyword Planner. If you don't have Google Keyword Planner yet, you can Google for it. Just type in Google Keyword Planner and go through the sign up process. You will be required to set up an ad. However, you don't actually have to run the ad. You need to set up the ad in order to get access to the Google Keyword Planner tool. So you can set up the ad and then you can just instantly pause it if you need to do that. Once you've inside Google Keyword Planner, here is what I do. So see where it says get search volume and forecasts. This is where we can paste all of our keywords. There is a limit, several hundred words that you can process at a time. So you would need to space it out potentially, but we can take all of these, select them, copy them, and then enter them in here. We can click paste. All right, you can see here are all of these keywords and we can now click get started and it will produce the average monthly searches and all the other related information for us. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, see now here I've got Australia because I'm located in Australia. So this gives me a default location. So you just want to go in there and you want to remove this location because I'm personally interested in worldwide traffic because my websites can be accessed by anyone in the world. So generally I remove the traffic and now it will recalculate and now we will get updated average monthly searches. All right. And now you can see that on this list, there are actually a lot of keywords that don't have any search traffic. So probably you know, they're just getting very, very few searches per month. And we can now sort this where if we click on average monthly searches, we can sort this. 
And you can see that we've actually got some keywords with really, really decent search volume. Now, guys, this data, I just want to point out that this data is very accurate. Sometimes some keyword tools will give you an estimate of monthly searches, but it may or may not be right. You're getting this data directly from Google. So this is like 100% accurate data, okay? And many of these keywords, look, we've got tons that get over 100 searches a month and tons that are getting over 1,000 searches a month. They're just getting us kind of like this range. Uh, one thing I want to point out is there is something here that says competition. So this is not organic competition. This is competition for this term uh, in Google Ads. Okay, so don't rely on this competition metric to see whether your website can or cannot rank in organic Google search. All right, so now we've got the keywords. We've now also got the average monthly searches. What we now need to find out next is how hard it is to rank in organic search results for those keywords. To do that, we need to extract this information. So unfortunately, you'll have to do it manually. I haven't found a way to uh, bulk select and bulk copy and paste this into Google Sheets. But anyway, it only takes a few minutes. So you, what you would do is just take this control C on your keyboard, then paste that over here. And then where it says volume, grab that control C and then control V it over here and then continue doing this. Okay, so everything that we've done so, so far has been done using 100% free tools. And one thing I want to mention is average monthly searches. So I get asked this a lot, what is the minimum monthly searches you should be aiming for? In general, if you've got a brand new website or a website in the starting stages of the life cycle, I actually recommend to go for anything that's over 100. So in this example, you would go for anything that's got 100 searches or more because Usually what happens is if you manage to rank for one of these terms, you will get a lot more traffic than what the keyword search volume seems to indicate because there are so many sub variations of this keyword that if you rank for how to grow tomatoes upside down, you'll actually rank for dozens or even hundreds of other related similar terms. So it's absolutely worth it in 100% of cases to go for a smaller uh, keyword that only has got like let's say a hundred between a hundred and a thousand searches so absolutely go for it that would be my advice now we've got our keywords we've got the volume now we want to get the competition sorted out and to get your competition i recommend a free tool called ahrefs now i know ahrefs is a paid tool but not many people know that you can actually use their free tools for free and you can get keyword competition for free uh Ahrefs is a premium tool. It's extremely accurate and very, very good high quality tool. But if you scroll all the way down on their website, you will see here something that says free SEO tools like that. You can actually click on here and you, you can expand and see all of these tools. And under here, you will see something that says keyword difficulty checker. Boom, that's exactly what we want. And now you just need to plug in these one by one into keyword difficulty checker and you will get the competition, how difficult it is for you to rank. So let's plug that in over here, how to grow tomatoes from seed. You'll click start for the country, just go with the biggest English speaking country. So United States will do just fine. You'll need to click this, I'm not a robot. You may need to complete some challenges, uh, you know, match a few pictures, etc. Okay, well, it didn't ask us. So here we've got keyword difficulty medium. Well, we can put that over here, competition 30, and then let's just go and check the next keyword. All right, so once again, I'm just gonna put that in here and check keyword difficulty. I'm not a robot, I'm gonna check that again. All right, now better, we've got 13. Now let's take how to cut tomatoes for salad. And look at this, we've got six. So six is actually a very easy keyword for pretty much a beginner website to crack into the top 10. And so this brings us to another very common question that I get asked all the time. What is the maximum keyword difficulty you should be going for? And my answer is, and I know this from experience, from working with Ahrefs from my own websites, that if you've got a sort of a beginner website that doesn't have a lot of authority, you should be going for anything that's about seven or eight keyword difficulty maximum. So anything between zero and seven or eight, according to Ahref score, is actually an easy keyword that you've got a realistic chance of ranking for. I will, however, say as well that what you need to make sure is that you're producing content that is long form and that is at least as long as some of the other competitors who are currently here on page one. So what you need to do is, for example, if you were considering writing an article on this keyword, you would need to 
plug this into Google search and then check all the top 10 results and check how many words these articles currently have. So you'd need to actually count the words here and you can for this you can basically just copy and for that you can paste it into online word counter any of these services will do once you've pasted it in it'll tell you how many words so 422 words so i recommend for you to go through the top 10 results in here and check how many uh, words they've got in their content and to create content that's at least as long as all of those other pieces of content so generally about 2000 words for a brand new website seems to work well all right, so now you know how to do full keyword research process using 100% free tools, how to get lists of keywords for free, how to get the exact search volume, as well as how to assess the competition. Now I want to give you two bonus tools and both of them actually come with a free trial. So they're kind of free as well, at least for a limited amount of time. The first one is SEMrush and SEMrush is a really good tool. I'm going to show you in just a moment how it works. It does uh, cost quite a bit of money. So it's $119 monthly is the cheapest plan. However, you can try it for free for seven days. So if you click on any of these try for free, you will be able to subscribe. You'll get seven days full access. However, if you want 14 days full access to SMrush, you can use my link in the description below that will give you a 14 day free access. During those 14 days, you can do as much research as you want and you can export your search results. So it might be a good idea to get access to this premium tool. And then during the first 14 days, uh, do all of the research that you possibly can. So if you go into the keyword magic tool, and if we go with the previous example, I type in how to tomatoes, uh, it will give us all of the keywords. So 40,752 keywords. And here you can apply all of these very powerful filters. You can filter by volume, by keyword difficulty. You should just note that keyword difficulty scale is a little bit different to Ahrefs. And here, a keyword difficulty that is easy is 29 or less. So uh, you can search through all of this. It's a really, really powerful tool with a huge database of keywords. And I highly recommend that you at least grab a trial, at least give it a try. And in those 14 days, you can uh, extract as many keywords as you want and make use of it that way. A second pro grade tool that is actually free for 30 days is moz.com. They have incredibly rich keyword research functionality built into the tool. And if you just go to moz.com, click try moz for free, you will be able to sign up and you will get a 30 day full access to moz pro, which is amazing. Uh, of course, just like with SEMrush, after 30 days, if you have to cancel, then you have to cancel if it's not within your budget, but at least you can make use of this premium grade tool for 30 days to do as much keyword research as you possibly may need to. And if you'd like to learn a lot more about my full process of finding excellent keywords for my niche websites, then you can get access to my free niche website course. Just check the links in the description below. You should also check out this video next where I show some of the techniques that I use to find keywords with pretty much zero competition on which even if a new website publishes an article, you'll have a very high chance of ranking. So just watch this video next. I really hope that you enjoyed today's content. Smash like just below this video and subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.